What up, Dawn? Welcome back to Day's Scattered Memories. Thanks for joining us here at Speaker Box in downtown Detroit. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is what we learned while gaining 500 subscribers on YouTube. My name is Stretch Limbs, and this is my faithful companion, Hobbles the Beagle Monster. I recently had a coffee in a glass cup, but he knocked the entire table over. The glass broke, the coffee spilled. So let's talk about what you really want to know. How does this affect you and how can you use this advice to help grow your YouTube channel? Remember, start with the tools that you have. This is the Canon EOS R. If you can get your hands on something like this with either a 16 millimeter or 35 millimeter RF lens, I highly recommend it. The majority of footage that goes on in my YouTube channel is shot directly on this iPhone 14 Pro Max, the same iPhone that's capturing this right now. And that's a tool that many of us have in our pockets. And as you know, one of my best strategies when I'm out in the field is just putting my iPhone on a tripod getting a really nice vantage point, pressing record, letting it rip. And that's an incredible way to get breathtaking behind the scene footage of you as a photographer, cinematographer, or an artist. Just get that phone on a tripod. Your cell phone will capture beautiful clips. And the most important thing is to just get out there and start documenting what makes you great. And I really want to know the questions that you have on your own YouTube journey because I know that it is not easy to take a dormant channel from 33 subscribers and grow it to above 508 month time period. But just like myself, I know that so many of you in this audience want to do the exact same thing. And better yet, you want to take it even further than that. You want to go above 500. You want to go above 5,000 because the message that you have for the world is valuable and the skills that you can share are sure to help other people along their journey as well. So thank you for joining me here, learning a little bit about the tips and strategies that if I've used to grow my YouTube channel from 33 to more than 500 subscribers between six to eight months. And if you're new here to Stretch Room's channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Please like this video. It helps send this content out to a wider audience and that's really gonna help me. Thank you. I want this to be a really collaborative experience where we get to work together, grow together, champion each other's channels together. I originally started my YouTube channel on January 22nd of 2006, but for the last 15 years or so, I've really just been focused on client work, and making sure that I'm producing the best possible cinema for individuals around me. So this year, I really wanted to dive back into my YouTube channel and get it growing again. But unfortunately, it was sitting dormant for, like I said, about 16 years. So I've been posting on YouTube again for about eight months. Uh, eight months on the shorts, six months on the long form videos. We just passed 500 subscribers early this month, 460 videos. Thank you to each and every one of you for subscribing to this channel. The goal of this channel was really just to take and curate going on national park road trips, whether it be to Yellowstone, uh, Seattle, Mount Rainier, or in cities like New York, Chicago, and Detroit. What you're gonna see on my YouTube channel is a mix of a few different things. You're gonna see photography, cinematography that is both documentary-based and narrative-based. Documentary meaning that we're following the stories of inspiring individuals here in the community, and narrative-based being something that I've scripted out, brought on talent to help enact the scenes, and then produced it into a theatrical rendition. And then also you're gonna see a lot of Studying lighthouses is one of my absolute favorite topics on this channel. Studying lighthouses is one of my absolute favorite topics on this channel, whether it's the Livingston Lighthouse out on Belle Isle or the Grand Traverse Lighthouse in Northport, Michigan is home to more than 400 lighthouses along the largest freshwater coastline in the United States of America. And I'm really excited to dive deeper over the next coming months and coming years to be able to document these lighthouses and to be able to really tell some incredible stories about our history, the state's history.
The majority of videos on my channel so far are shorts. Eight months ago, I just started really delivering shorts and it was important for me to make sure that I was delivering shorts on a consistent basis because the YouTube algorithm is gonna continue to find an audience and build an audience uh, off of your content. Where I am right now with 532 subscribers, I have not even built that initial seed audience of 1,000 subscribers yet, but we are on the way. In order to join the YouTube Partner Program, you are going to need 500 subscribers is the first metric of eligibility, followed by three videos uploaded in the last 90 days, and then either 3,000 watch hours or 3 million short views. So what I like to do is I like to handle this strategy both ways. I use, I like, I use shorts to be able to gain subscribers to the channel and then long form videos in order to get watch hours and retention. When you take a long form video and you remix it into a short, what you're doing is you're giving the shorts algorithm the opportunity to spread that out to a wider audience. And then what that's gonna do is directly pull you right back in to your long form video where you're gonna be able to receive monetization benefits from the YouTube Partner Program. So just to give you an example here, this, this here is a short of a bull moose in Yellowstone. It got, uh, 17, it got 1,700 views. And so when we click on that, what you can see here is that we have 38 likes. But again, what's most important here, it's gonna plateau. And that you might, and that might confuse you at first, like why are they getting so many views? And then they plateau and they, um, and they, and they stay still for long periods of time. But that's just YouTube seeding your videos to the right audience. And so that's really important. But what you're gonna notice over time is that those videos are gonna uh, have waves and they're gonna trend uh, upwards over time. But again, the metrics that are really important to understand here is uh, with this moose video, as you can see here, that we have an audience retention of 11%, which is 131% of the video. Now, it's important that this is one of the most important metrics for YouTube wanting to show your videos to new audiences is how long has your audience been watching the video? So this is a great example because in this case, not only did we gain four subscribers, 38 likes, but the main reason behind that is because at the end of the video there, you see that we're still uh, at 87% retention rate. You're gonna get some other better metrics here about the traffic sources, whether it was on the shorts feed, the YouTube search channel pages, suggested videos, uh, demographics of who's watching this video. So, but again, what's really important about this video to uh, understand here when you release the shorts, when you release them as a long form and then you remix them as a short, is that it says right here, created from stretch limbs. And so when you click on that, what that does is that brings you to the long form video. And then you can see right there that YouTube is already uh, running an advertisement over top of this video. So as I'm not officially part of the YouTube partner program yet, I'm not receiving any of the monetary rewards from this advertisement being run. But as you can see here, it's what we're doing is you, you're taking content, releasing it initially as a short, but then releasing it as a long form video and then remixing that long form video into another short because then that's going to, again, re-spread your content out to a larger audience. And what I found is that this has been one of the single most beneficial practices that's helped this channel grow over the six months, taking it from 33 subscribers and a dormant channel with uh, no uh, watch, watch time to over 500 subscribers in between that six to eight month mark. Again, uh, having a strategy of releasing shorts to gain subscribers, and then also then taking that same content. A lot of times people are gonna shoot content uh, vertically from their phone or their iPad or even their camera, and that's okay. Uh, I would always recommend that you're shooting your content 4K horizontal, because that's gonna give you the best opportunity to remix and reuse content uh, across platform. But if you're shooting vertical, I'm remixing a bunch of vertical content and you're just gonna have to scale it up from the vertical iPhone settings to be a 1080 video. Typically that's, you're just gonna scale it up 170 to 280% depending on what the pixel ratio of 
your phone or the uh, output of your render from the video that you're using is. So as you can see here, a lot of my most top performing content is of Hobbles the Monster here playing fetch. Also, we have some hiking concerts and you can see kind of in an array of different perspectives. And then you can do the same thing with your long form videos as well. Hit the video tab. You can see here some of my recent releases, Super Car Race at the Belle Isle Grand Prix, filming an American Bull Bison at Yellowstone, my first attempt to summit Mount Rainier, Pelican Cases, San Francisco, Vincent Van Gogh, a few of my own artworks on paper with marker and acrylic, and then other short films that I've made along the way. What you're gonna see here again, a lot of national parks, pre-depression era skyscraper cities. When we look at our most popular performing long form videos, you're gonna see Plastic Movie there at number one, which is really incredible. If you haven't checked out Plastic Movie yet, it is my debut feature length narrative coming in at 45 minutes. So it's just a really easy watch for you. It's not gonna take up your entire day. And working with Deshaun in Asia was an incredible privilege of mine that I'm so grateful to have been a part of as well, working with all the community partners here in Detroit, Recycle Here, Green Living Science, the Downtown Boxing Gym, Detroit Bus, Tech Town, and, and all, of, all of our friends and family that really helped make this production possible. I am extremely grateful for you there. It's a really exciting time to be a content creator and all that it has to bring. Thank you so much for subscribing to Stretch Home's YouTube channel. See you soon. Stay beautiful, friends.